starting some oatmeal in the Instant Pot this morning. I'm gonna be going to Aldi later today to get groceries and I looked back to see when was the last time I went to Aldi and it's been a couple of weeks. I didn't go last week and that video is when I made some Instant Pot oatmeal and it made me really want some. <laughs> so we're making some more this morning but we're gonna do it different. We're gonna make gingerbread Instant Pot oatmeal and I'm gonna show y'all how to make your own gingerbread spice. So in the Instant Pot, we have one and a half cups of Old Fashioned Oats. We're gonna go ahead and make the spice first. That way when we add in our milk and everything, we have the spice ready to go. That's hard to find around here, gingerbread spice. I know, I think maybe a couple of years ago I bought some, but I haven't seen it in a long time. It's usually in one of these little McCormick things and it has a little gingerbread man on it. Super cute, but never in stock. So we're gonna make our own. We need a tablespoon and a half of ground cinnamon and you could make more than this, but I don't have enough ground ginger. So we're just gonna go with half of this spice list for the spice mix. A tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. A tablespoon and a half of ground ginger. Half a tablespoon of allspice. About half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna sneeze now in a minute. Black pepper always makes me sneeze. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna put my lid on and shake it up. Gingerbread spice. Probably should write it on there so I remember what it is. <laughs> in here with the oats, we're putting one cup of water. The last time I made this, I used cream and milk. I'm out of heavy cream this time, so we're just gonna go with milk, but I will tell y'all, it is so good with the cream. So we're gonna put in two cups and a fourth of a cup of whole milk, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Tyler's in here joining me now. We're gonna put half a tablespoon of the gingerbread, maybe just a little more than half a tablespoon, because I've never made gingerbread oatmeal before, so I don't wanna overdo it. We'll try with a little over half a tablespoon, and then we'll know if next time we should go with a whole tablespoon. <laughs> Play it safe. There we go, put the lid on, seal it up. You don't have to stir it right now. And we're gonna cook it on the porridge setting for six minutes. I'm also making toast and cheesy eggs for, whoops, those who don't want oatmeal. <laughs> It's coffee time. We finished eating breakfast. Got the kitchen cleaned up. Manly's being a horsey over here. <laughs> he has a great horse sound. Anyway, the oatmeal was really good. I do think that was enough of the gingerbread spice in there. I think a little, any more would have been a little too overpowering. So yeah, half a tablespoon is good on the gingerbread spice. And yes, now it's time for coffee. So we're at the second farm here today and uh, these are mostly trims. We got some that we shoe here, but this is a like a basically a farm where people come and take lessons. Most of these are trims because they're being rolled on sand and you know grass, so it's nothing really rocky out there.
horse cannot feel it at all. It's just like trimming your fingernails. Buddy, right here. Do you ride a good bit? Maybe like once a month. Yeah. I'm always so busy, and like I'll do. I was doing lessons with Kristen uh, right. every week. So we're about to have a new arena put in because that one, the sand's not quite firm enough, you know. Yeah. It doesn't have the legs now. So you gonna go ahead and put a new arena in? Yeah. He gets spooked by everything. Right. So I was walking him out this morning, and I had the goats in here. Yeah. Uh, I'll be bringing them in tonight. Right. As soon as I was walking by, one jumped up on the door, man, he jumped. He yeah. threw one of them one day. Yeah. He hold one of them and threw it. Oh, my goodness. Me and Manny are going to collect the egg. Oops, I forgot the basket. Hang on, let me get the basket. The yeah. chickens have started laying, I think, mostly in the mornings now. Yeah, they like it. Yeah. So since it gets darker earlier, we'll let them out earlier. That way they have more time to be out. It's almost lunchtime now, so come let them out. Okay. They're ready. Okay. Yep, they're ready and waiting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. I got it. They always put it on so tight, sometimes I can't get it off. Hey girls. <laughs> what are we getting, Manny? Chicken feed, that's right. So it's a little while later. I just finished uh, filming the Aldi grocery haul. You already saw that yesterday. I have not, however, finished putting everything away. I put away all the cold stuff. So I'm about to finish putting all this stuff away and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the cheeseburgers. We're gonna do cheeseburgers for supper tonight. I was gonna see if I had some french fries though. I don't know what I was thinking when I was in Aldi. I didn't get any french fries. I was gonna get chips. The kids really like their uh, Clancy's brand of Pringles. I was gonna get some of those. They didn't have any so then I was like, okay, well I'll just get french fries. And I forgot the french fries, so I'm seeing if I have any. We'll do hash browns. Be like a Waffle House cheeseburger dinner. This day feels like it's lasting forever. And it's gonna be getting dark probably in just about an hour. It's just a little after four right now. Okay, we are ready to cook. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the hash browns here or the hamburgers here. Fun. Is that fun? Yeah, fun? I love hash browns with a cheeseburger. That's my favorite thing about Waffle House, the hash browns. I like to put ketchup and mayonnaise on mine. Okay, we got three steps going there. Now we'll get the hamburger started. I'm gonna go ahead and let this iron skillet be heating up. What I think I'm going to do is make some bacon in here first and then cook the hamburger patties in here afterwards because I know Jacob, uh, he really likes bacon on his cheeseburgers and somebody else might want some too. The trick with hash browns, I've told y'all this before, when you think they're done and ready to flip, they are not done and ready to flip. You just let them keep on cooking. Jonah and Manly have a rodeo going on. I'm not sure what event it is. It looks like Chase the Man on the Horse event. <laughs> so tell me about the Hallmark movies. Anybody been watching them? I am so behind. Let me just tell y'all, I have watched one new one. One, that is it. I have them recorded because, you know, we have friendly TV. So if you have that, then you can record any movies or shows and then, you know, you get to keep them for 30 days so you can watch them whenever. I watched the... You, Me, and the Christmas Trees with Danica and McKellar in it. That was a really good one. That's the only one I've watched so far. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm out, I'm welcome to Waffle House. Sometimes when we're in the kitchen.
kitchen. We dance. We dance. That's what we do. So I dream of. Manly's giving rides in here. This is the car. She's driving the car? How much does it cost to get a ride? A hug. Oh, you give him a hug and he gives you a ride? A hug. <laughs> oh, okay, now it's his turn. Give her a hug. Hi. Now it's Manny's turn. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Give him boots a break. That is fun. That is fun. I got this. Do you know what else is fun? Bath time. Yeah.